Jesus name we are praying. Amen. In Psalm 91. He who dwells in the street place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of His Almighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. In Ezekiel chapter 16. The Lord spoke to me again. Mortal men, he said, point out to Jerusalem what disgusting thing she has done. Tell Jerusalem what the sovereign Lord is saying to her. You were born in the land of Kenya. Your father was an Amorite and your mother was a Hittite. When you were born, no one caught your umbilical cord or wash you or rub you with salt or wrap you in a cloth. No one took enough pity on you to do any of this. For you, when you were born, no one loved you. You are thrown into in an open field. Then I passed by and saw you, swimming in your own blood. You were covered with blood, and I wouldn't let you die. I made you grow like a healthy plant. You grow strong and tall and become a young woman. Your, br your breasts were well formed and your hair had grown. But you we are naked. As I passed by again, I saw that time has come for you to fall in love. I covered your naked body with my coat and promised to love you. Yes, I made a marriage covenant with you and you become mine. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Then I took water and washed the blood off you. I rubbed olive oil in your skin. I dressed you in abroad bronze and gave you shoes of the best leather. A linen head bound and a silk clothes. I put jewel on you, bracelets and necklace. I gave you a nose ring and earrings and a beautiful crown to wear. You had unmet of gold and silver and you always wore clothes of embroidered linen and silk. You ate food, you ate bread made from best flour and had honey and olive oil to eat. Your beauty was dazzling and you become a queen. You became famous in every nation for your perfect beauty. Because I was the one who made you so lovely. This is what the sovereign Lord says. But you took advantage of your beauty and fame to sleep with everyone who came across, uh, who came along. You used some of your clothes to decorate your places of worship. And just like a prostitute, you gave yourself to everyone. You took the silver and gold jewelry that I have given you. Use it to make male images and committed adultery with other men. You took the embroidered clothes to get you and put them on the image. And you offered to the image the olive oil and in incense I had given you. I gave you the food, the best floor olive oil and honey but you offered it as a sacrifice to win the favor of idols 
this is what the Lord says. Then you took the son and the, and the daughter you had born for me and offered them as a sacrifice to an idols. Wasn't it bad? Enough to be unfaithful to me. Without taking my children and sacrifice them to idols. During your disgusting life as a prostitute, you never once remember your childhood. When you were naked, screaming in your own blood. In Zechariah chapter 16, verse 23, Jerusalem's life as a prostitute. The sovereign Lord said, You are doomed, doomed. You did all that evil, and then, by the side of evil road, by the side of every road, you built places to worship idols and practice prostitutions. You drag your beauty through the mud. You offer yourself to everyone who come by you. You wear more of a prostitute every day. your lustful neighbors, the Egyptian, go to bed with you and you use your prostitution to make me angry. Now, I have raised my hand to punish you and to take away your share of my blessing. I have handed you over to the Philippians who hate you and are disgusted with your immoral action. Because you were not satisfied by the order, you went running after the Israelites. You were their prostitute, but they did not satisfy you either. You were also a prostitute for the Babylonians, that nation of businessmen, but they didn't satisfy you either. This is what the Lord is saying. You have done all this like a shameless prostitute. On every street, you build place to worship idols and practice prostitution. But you are not out for money like a common prostitution. You are like a woman who committed adultery with strangers instead of loving her husband. A prostitute is paid, but you gave presents to all your lovers and bribe, bribe them to come from everywhere to sleep with you. You are a special kind of prostitute. No one forced you to become one. You didn't get paid. You paid them. Yes, you are different. God's judgment of Jerusalem. Ezekiah chapter 16, verse 35. Now, then, Jerusalem, you were hear what the Lord is saying. This is what the sovereign Lord says. You strip off your clothes and like a prostitute you gave yourself to, a, to your lover and to all your disgusting idols and you kill your children as sacrifice to idols. Because of these I will bring all your former lovers together in Jesus' name. The ones you like and the ones you hate, I will bring them around you in a cycle. And then I will strike off your clothes and let them see naked. I will condemn you for adultery and murder. And in my anger and fear, I will punish you with death. I will put you in their power and they will tear down the places where you, you, you engage in prostitution and worship idols. They will take away your clothes and jewelries and leave you completely naked in Jesus' name. Amen. They will stir up a crowd to stone you and they will cut you to pieces with their sword. They will burn you they will burn your houses down and let crowds of women see your punishment. I will make you stop 
being a prostitute and make you stop giving gifts to your lovers. Then my anger will be over and I will be calm. I will not be angry or jealous anymore. You have forgotten how I treated you when you were young and you have made, made me angry by all the things you did. That is why I have made you pray for me, for them all. Why did you act sexual immoral to all the other disgusting things you did? The sovereign Lord has spoken. Ezekiel chapter 17, verse 44, like the mother, like the daughter. The Lord said, people will use this proverb about you. Jerusalem, like mother, like daughter. You really are your mother's daughter. She tested her husband and her husband and her children. You are like your sister who hates their husbands and their children. You and your sister, you and your sister's city had a hated mother and a upright father. Your elder sister is Samaria in the north with her villagers. Your younger sister is with her villagers in Sabodan in the south. We are your content to follow in their footsteps and copy their disgusting actions. No, in only a little while you were behaving worse than they were in everything you did. As sure as I am the living God, the sovereign Lord says, Your sister Sodom and her villagers never did the evil that you and your villagers has done. She and her daughters we are proud because they have plenty to eat and live in peace and quiet. But they did not take care of the poor and the underprivileged. They were proud and sabotaged and did the things that I hate. So I destroyed them as you were known. Samaria did not seem half as much as you have. You have acted more disgustingly than she have ever did. Your corruption makes your sister look innocent by comparison. And now you will have to endure your disgrace. Your sins are so much worse than those of your sisters that they look innocent beside you. Now blush and bear your shame because you made your sister look pure. Ezekiah chapter 16 verse 53 Sodom and Samaria will be restored. The Lord said to Jerusalem, I will make them prosper again. Sodom and her villages and Samaria and her villages. Yes, I will make you prosper too. You will be ashamed of yourself and your disgrace will show your sister how well off they are. They will become prosperous again and you and your villagers will also be restored. Didn't you joke about Sodom in those days? When, you're, when you were proud and before the evil you did had been exposed, now you are just like her, a joke to the Edomites. The Philistines and your other neighbors who hate you, you must suffer for the absence, disgusting thing you have done. The Lord has spoken. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord.
Psalm 91, verse 7 to 8. A thousand may fall at your side, and a ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Almighty and ever living daddy, King of King, Lord of God, ancient of days, the mighty man in battle. Diana, that I am, O Lord. Father, you are worthy of our praise. O many potent God, there is none like you. Father, Lord, we thank you these days. We thank you for the life you've given to us. Thank you for the joy you've set upon our life. Thank you, Almighty Father. Because you are so good in our life, O God. King of kings, Lord of God, you said take glory, honor, dominion, adoration, we ascribe unto your holy name. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Mighty Jehovah, mighty King, we commit our family in your hands, O God. Make it way where there is no way in our life. Make it way there is no way in our family. Make it way there is no way, O Lord. Destroy every wicked altar. Destroy every wicked spell. Destroy every wicked incantation. Reverse every evil energy. Projected in our destiny. Projected in our business. Projected in our career. Projected in our academical life. Projected in our spiritual life. We reverse it today by the power of God of Jesus Christ our Lord. Every spirit of destruction around our life around our destiny. we we'll reverse it right now in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Spirit of destruction, any altar that have cast a spell, incantation, that have laid a curse in our life, that have laid a curse in our destiny, in our generation, I rebook in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. we we'll rebook it right now, we we'll start me. by the power of blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. Wherever, O oh God, you call our name, in the east, in the west, in the north, and the south, locate and scatter, locate and scatter, locate and scatter, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, locate and scatter, locate and scatter, locate right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any household wizard, household witchcraft, household zikraft, household demonic entitlement, Evil arrow, evil spell, evil man, evil woman, evil neighbor, evil tenant, evil brother, evil sister, evil in law, any person against our life, against our destiny, they want to see our downfall, they want to see us fall. I rebook you in the name of Jesus Christ. We we'll rebook you by fire. We we'll rebook in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Whosoever that is taking our name to an evil shrine, to cast a spell, to cast a spell in our destiny, to stop us from moving ahead, to stop our career, to stop our destiny, to stop us from being who God said we will be. Today I declare and decree no weapon fashion against us, against our family, against our children, shall be able to prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, every wicked altar. Bearing our name, we rebook in the name of Jesus Christ. Bearing our family name, we rebook in the name of Jesus Christ. Bearing our children's name, we rebook in the name of Jesus Christ. Bearing our business name, we rebook in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebook it right now. You sickness that has come to attack our family members, you sickness that has come to attack us, I declare and decree no weapon, fashion against us, shall be able to prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, no weapon, fashion against us, against our family, shall be able to prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, evil eyes monitoring us right now, be blind in the name of Jesus Christ. You evil eyes monitoring our destiny, be blind in the name of Jesus Christ. You evil altar, evil spell, evil incantation, evil arm, any cause, any spell, 
any incantation, wherever it's coming from, in the east, in the west, in the north, in the south, locate to send the right now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Any power that are sent to torment us, I cast them ban you. I cast them ban you right now, today, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. You demon, you witchcraft, household wizard, paralyzed, 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 and be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, let their knees buckle, let their knees buckle, let their toes buckle, let them become a vagabond, let them keep wandering about without finding a solution in our life. Any altar working against our children, backfire, 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 backfire. Whosoever that is casting a spell in our children's life, in our children's children's life, and reverse it, return back to sender, return back to sender.